If you're watching this video right now, you're probably a content creator, streamer, or just a competitive player who would like to share some content on YouTube. And we all know the problem, especially in the beginning, you're probably more likely not gonna spend a single dollar on editing software, so you're just browsing through YouTube, trying to find the best free program. I more or less found a free version of Adobe Premiere Pro with all the same features, the same layout, and trust me, this program is so good. And the best part about it, it has no watermark. You can literally use it completely for free. And yeah guys, if you're new here on my channel, I do tons of optimization guides, usually for gaming, how to boost FPS and stuff like that, but I'm trying to also sort in some new content like this here where I help just other content creators to build that channel. And if you guys want to support me, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me out so, so much. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Let's pretend we just finished recording some really nice gameplay here in the background. It can be Apex Legends, Fortnite, CSGO, it doesn't really matter. And we're right now thinking, okay, I need the right editing program. We need something which is 1080p 60fps obviously with some nice transitions where we can put better ground music into it and maybe just some basic Lumetri color effects to just make the gameplay look even better. And this is the point of the video guys where HitFilms comes in clutch and trust me guys I've never seen such a good free editing software. This is by the way not sponsored or paid or anything, I just got a tip from a friend. Guys I've literally only used this program for 5 minutes and all the features are exactly the same as on Adobe which is crazy. And yeah guys I'm just gonna leave the download link in the description and as mentioned it is entirely free which is so nice. So yeah guys, and this is how the program looks like if we just launched it. And if we go into file here and onto new, we can see that we can create 1080p scenes, 720p scenes, Instagram portraits, 2K recordings, uh, 1440p. Then we also have here 4K, which is also super nice guys. We can literally edit straight up in 4K. But yeah, just to show everything guys, I'm just gonna stick here to a normal full HD, 60 FPS. Everything should be set up here. Uh, 38,000 kilohertz here for the audio as well and we're just gonna create a new scene here real quick and if we now compare it actually to Adobe Premiere Pro guys you can literally see all the similarities. So guys I now just try to build up exactly into how I would usually do it in Adobe Premiere Pro and yeah I gotta say the effects are exactly the same just think about it please guys like this is just really quick like made here <laughs> I just wanted to showcase it to you and we're just gonna take a look actually how it looks like here this is literally made in like 15 seconds guys. Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in in today's video I'm going to show you the best Fortnite game user settings in Chapter 2 Season 7 to get maximum FPS and the least amount of input delay. If you guys enjoy this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. You can at any time unsubscribe if you don't like the content but just please give me the chance. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this. So let's say this would be like my normal basic intro guys, like obviously you can also put in even more transitions. Uh, you just have to type in transition into the effect tab and you can see how many we have here guys. And I'm quite sure you can also add some later on, but yeah, those are just like the basic ones which are pre-installed and I have to say this is so damn close to Adobe. It's exactly the same way also to create like this zoom function here, like in Adobe, let's say we're just gonna go here at the beginning of the timeline, we set a check here on, I don't know, the scale 100, then go completely to the right side and you can see I just put the scale here on 250 in the end, I think it was, and yeah, we have like this zoom effect which works exactly the same way as in Adobe. And what's also super nice guys that literally all the effects are almost named identical to the ones on Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's say we want to just add a little bit more contrast, you know, to make the colors a little bit more popping. We just have to look out here for colors and then we can already see brightness and contrast. We're just going to drag it over here onto our clip and then we already have it here under the effects tab. We have it here, brightness and contrast. So we're just going to drag the contrast maybe on like 24 or something and you can see the whole image got a little bit more colorful, you know, it's a little bit darker and the colors are actually way better, you know, not as washed out as here on the stock image. And then we're just going to let it play and we can see how good it looks. You can obviously also put the quality of the preview here on one fourth only or the half or the full quality. I just kept it here on one fourth. So the preview is like 60 FPS, which is also a nice feature. And I just have to say it feels exactly like Adobe Premiere Pro, which is crazy guys. And just keep in mind, this program is totally free. I'm gonna leave a link in description. You have no watermark and you can do literally the same stuff as on Adobe Premiere Pro. Also adding something like this little like and subscribe button here works 100%. I mean, I just directed it on here and yeah, it just does exactly what it should do. The animation is super smooth and there are no extra issues here. And yeah guys, just a quick important information, you have to register on their main site and as you can see you have a slider here where you can consider to support them, you know, you could pay 19 euros or maybe like even like, I don't know, like 75 euros, stuff like that, but they also offer it for free so you can decide for yourself, I don't know, maybe you feel bad and want to just support them with like five dollars, you can do that obviously, but they also have like this zero euro, um, method here where you just can then like go into um, free product here but they also have like a feature 
but they also offer it for free. You just have to click here on free product and they will give you like a serial key there, which you can enter then in the software and the watermark is going to get removed, you know, before there's going to be a watermark. So please just make sure to register on the main site and you can actually get like a free key here. And yeah, they just have this feature so you can support them if you really want to. So yeah guys, and as you can see right now here, after some color correction and actually adding like some background music and some more transitions, I'm finishing here my intro actually. And now we're just going to go here onto export, go onto file and then we can name it whatever we want. We're just going to name it FN intro and we're just going to save it here real quick. And as you can see, it's getting rendered right now here already in the background, 1080p, 60 FPS. You can literally see so much more information here on the right side, guys. You can see literally everything, the codec, uh, how much FPS, what hertz we're running here on the audio, the progress, and we're just going to wait and then I'm going to blend in how it looks like. Yo, what's up guys, home, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the best Fortnite game user settings in Chapter 2 Season 7 to get maximum FPS and the least amount of input delay. If you guys enjoy this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. You can at any time unsubscribe if you don't like the content, but just please give him the chance. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Yeah guys, to be honest, I'm actually quite surprised how well the final product actually turned out. I mean, we have to consider that this is a free software which actually can do almost the same stuff as Adobe Premiere Pro, which is kind of crazy. And yeah guys, as mentioned, you have to register on the main website to actually get the product key. Otherwise, you're gonna have a watermark there. They actually did it like that. And of course, you don't have to pay. You can only give them some money if you actually want to support them. And just as an overall final conclusion, I would say this is probably by far the best free editing software in 2021. I know there are also other softwares which are really, really good. But actually considering that this is almost built exactly like Adobe Premiere Pro, I think more people would actually prefer this one because the structure is just so simple. I mean, you can straight up watch Adobe. Premiere Pro tutorials and probably use the same stuff in this program, which is kind of crazy. I would also like to know if you guys actually want to see more of this type of content. I mean, I can always review like some free software or stuff like that. But yeah, mainly I actually do like optimization and tweak ads here or I don't know, mostly Fortnite related stuff or something which is like kind of related to gaming. Uh, so I did a bunch of keyboard reviews and mice reviews and stuff like that. So just let me know guys, do you actually want to see more of this type of content? To be honest, I think this could help out tons of people, especially if like new here on YouTube and you just want to create some unique type of content. A free editing program like this here can actually help you out so, so much and make stuff so much easier, especially if you're new here and you don't know which one to choose out of this insanely large pool of free editing softwares which are right now on the market. And yeah, just let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about it. Do you like it? Will you try it out? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them as well. I try to answer as many as possible. And that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Please also don't forget to join the Discord. We are over 3,000 active members which can help help you at any given time. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.